Here we are in the Amazon rainforest. Look at all the animals. Today we are going to learn about the Yukari monkey. I am Summer and this is Wake, my pet raccoon. He is from the rainforest too. This is what the Yukari monkey looks like. They are the world's strangest looking monkey. These monkeys have bald heads. They, they have red face like tomatoes and if they don't, they, they are not healthy. He does not swing from the trees like a usual monkey. He only has a short tail. It is about 15 to 18 centimeters long. The Yukari monkey jumps and leaps instead of swinging. There's also a black-headed Yukari monkey. He, he, he has yellow teeth and looks about a man about to die. Um, me and Wake wanted to find more about uh, out about the Yukari monkey, so we asked this big expert um, called Mark Bowler. But I did an expedition to Peru uh, in 1995, a long time ago, with my university. And some of the local people had one of these monkeys uh, dead, they were going to eat it. Uh, so I looked up, uh, when I got back to, to England, I looked up about these monkeys uh, to try and find out what I could, and nobody knew anything. Uh, so I thought, well, somebody's got to find out about these monkeys. And um, it turned out that I was going to be that person to find out about monkeys. This monkey is quite special. We only find it in places where there aren't many people. So we have to travel a long way uh, to these really remote areas. And, and we have to look very hard. In the wild, where they've been hunted, they'll run away from most humans. I actually had a group that didn't run away because I, I followed them for two years, studying them. And some of the younger ones would come down and sit by me and, and have a look at me because um, they got used to me and they, they knew that I wasn't going to hurt them. When I used to follow these monkeys to find out what they were doing, when it got to the evening, they just, just sort of used to disappear one by one. And, and I never really saw them going to sleep. But uh, in some mornings when I got up very early and, and went to find them, I'd find small groups of them all, all huddled together. Uh, they're very hairy. They huddle together to keep warm. It gets quite, quite cold at night in the forest. They're just huddled together in little groups um, on the branches. The Yukari monkey makes the hick, hick, hick sound and they are the size of a cat. So when they're moving through the forest, they'll go kick, 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 kick and then the other one will answer kick, 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 kick and that's just to find out where they are. Um, and they make a little purr like a cat um, and when you groom one in captivity, they make a little purr and you know it's happened then. Um, but if they're upset, they'll scream and they'll make some sort of deep sort of screaming noises. Um, and that's when they're angry with each other uh, or, or when they're scared. I know when, when they were attacked by an eagle, when I was watching them, all the monkeys were screaming very loudly and, and jumping down into the lower branches. They, they've got great big teeth to open the, the, the fruit that they eat because they like lots of nuts with hard shells. So that gives them these great big teeth. Then the males have these big muscles in, in their head, which makes their head bulge out. Um, and that's probably to power the teeth. Um, but it's, it may also be that the, that the female monkeys like to look at the males with the big muscles in their head as well. The local people call this interesting monkey the English monkey. Because if a white-skinned person doesn't wear sun cream on a very hot day, they get red skin. The red face tells other monkeys which ones are healthy and when, when monkeys meet each other and decide if they want to be boyfriend and girlfriend, they're, what, they want to, what they want is a healthy boyfriend or girlfriend. So they, they look at the red face and they choose red, red faced monkeys and uh, then their babies have even redder faces and that's how it works. Unfortunately, this very nice species of animal is endangered. It's difficult to say how many. We know that there are fewer every year. One of the things you find in the Amazon is people are cutting a lot of trees down, um, but that changes the forest. And in other areas, they're cutting all the trees down and planting uh, palm oil, palm fruits to, to, to get palm oil. 
Um, and in other areas, they're hunting monkeys for food. And in some areas, you get all of those things going on. So it's a combination of these things um, that means that they're getting fewer and fewer monkeys every year. The scientific name for this strange looking monkey is Caracajao Calvus. Hopefully you've learned something today learning about the Yukari monkey. Rake and me have enjoyed teaching you about it as well. Bye bye! Bye bye!